Nova G3 Wood Turning Chuck Unboxing. contents. Eight countersunk screws, one impossibly small grub screw, two allen keys, one woodworm screw, jaw slides, four, one key pinion, one ISNS shop smith Set. One chuck body. Nova G3 chuck instruction manual. Assembly. The spindle insert is screwed into the chuck. The spindle is secured by one impossibly small grub screw, otherwise known as a set screw. The four jaws must be oriented in accordance to their four numbered locations. Once in place, they must be secured by inserting the counter sunk screws, two for each jaw. The screws are finger tightened and then backed off half a turn in order to loosen them. Using the key pinion, the jaws are then tightened. Once in place, you further tighten the screws down in order to set the jaws in place. Now the chuck is calibrated. I drilled a 3 8 inch hole into this wood blank and inserted the wood worm screw, tightening with a set of grips. I then affixed the chuck to my lathe by tightening the set screw. I opened the jaws to receive the wood worm screw. I proceeded to round the blank. I worked the end of the piece until I could turn down the tenon to the proper diameter. Once the tenon was cut to the proper diameter, I flipped it around and secured it into the dovetail jaws and removed the wood worm screw. For the next minute of this video, I am turning and shaping this blank.
Now that the blank is nearly perfectly cylindrical, I'll begin to further shape, contour, and cut a pattern into the piece. Here I am attempting to remove more material from the interior of the piece. Finishing. I apply generous quantities of boiled linseed oil. This wood being American sweet gum is not good for many applications only decorative purposes, so I decided to turn it into a 5 pen and or pencil holder. Thank you for watching, please subscribe.